Hello everyone! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Jana. Kamusta po kayong lahat? I hope you're good, especially now na two months na tayong lockdown. I have a few items na binili ko before in Canada during one of my layovers. So I, I did a haul. Um, bumili ako sa Sephora, bumili ako online ng mga kung ano-ano. So gusto ko lang ipakita sa inyo kung ano tong mga tot ng magamit na. If you're interested, then please stay tuned and keep on watching. Meron akong nabiling instant and pain-free rechargeable lithium ion hair remover. <laughs> for $25 or $27 yata. Sobrang mura niya kaya kinagat ko na siya. It's one of those ads na nakikita niyo sa Facebook na painless hair removal. Hindi siya yung laser hair removal na IPL but this one is kind of like a shaver. The inclusions in the box. So, meron siyang ganito. Meron siyang parang mga clips na dagdag. So, ito yun. Ganito siya inside. First time ko nga siyang makita eh na ganito lang pala. Akala ko parang may mga blades siya sa loob. Pero may kasama siyang clip na ganito. Ito na parang very smooth. Kaya kahit ilapit mo siya, hindi ka masusugat. But there's also this sharp one that looks like this. So what's good about this is rechargeable siya. Meron din siyang kasamang USB cable for charging but wala siyang socket na kasama. And also there's this brush. Siguro paninis to ng buho na nagtutrap sa loob. So, subukan natin siya ha. Directions for use. Use on clean and completely dry skin with no cream or cosmetic residue. Kaya ngayon wala pa akong makeup kasi I wanted to try it in front of you guys nang makita natin kung effective nga ba itong mga binibenta nila. You have to switch on the purple Sensalite technology and green LED will flash. So, it's now flashing. Kita naman na nagpo-flash na siya. Touch the Sensalite head to skin to begin hair removal process. The unit will not begin to work until contact has been made with skin. Do not apply excessive pressure during use to avoid damage to skin or head of the unit. Discontinue use if any skin irritation results. For short hair, stubble or touch-up, select the microfoil head. So, this is the microfoil head. Microfoil head pa lang tawag nila dito. So, okay. I'm a bit scared because I'm going to use it on my face. And gagamitin natin siya dito sa lady stash ko na matagal ko nang hindi napapawax kasi walang bukas na waxing salon. So, let's do this! Oh my God, this is so scary. I'm so scared! Pakita ko muna sa inyo. Zoom in ko muna kayo. So there you see it. Sorry naman sa aking face na napaka bare. But I don't know if you could tell. This portion is now very very smooth. Ito kasi yung medyo may konting buhok. Pinalaser ko na to dati pero meron pang konti. Now let's do the other side. It works. I think this is actually good, especially during this time na wala kang mapuntahang salon for waxing. It actually works for the chin, the underarms, the knees, ankles, arms, toes. Toes. Kasi nga, may tumutubo din pala na hair sa toes. Bikini, calf, and thigh. So, pwedeng pwede siya sa kahit ano, kahit sa bikini area pwede. Ang galing no? Kasi itong microfoil niya, Smooth lang siya, pero natatanggal niya yung hair at pinong-pino yung hair, pero natanggal niya. So, ililink ko siya at nang makita niya. Also, um, you've seen this in my previous post. I purchased um, Embryolis. This one is my favorite moisturizer that also acts as primer. So, bumili ako ng dalawa. And I have a story to tell, actually. Alam niyo ba, guys, na bumili ako ng Peking Embryolis sa Shopee? And hindi ko, dahil hindi ko alam kung ano yung original na formulation. Nakita ko lang kasi ito sa isang Hollywood celebrity na ginagamit niya. So, alam mo naman ang lola mo, konting nood lang sa YouTube ay mabilis nang maingan nyo. So, bumili ang lola niyo ng, ng Embryolis sa Shopee. In fairness naman, um, mukha naman siyang tunay. 
mabang mo siya, it works, na naubos ko nga yung isang tube, eh, kaya nga ako bumili ulit. Pero dahil nung nag-check na ako sa mismong website, dahil since medyo, eto na, nakumaling na tayo sa produkto, isip ko, ganito lang ba talaga siya kamura? So I went to check on their website, <gasps> oh my god, mahal pala talaga siya. Medyo may kamahalan ng produkto. So I think this product, I don't remember it, pero parang, Tutusin kung i-convert mo siya sa Philippine peso. Parang nasa 2.7 pa nga eh. So, guys, kung sinusubukan yung mga binibenta nila sa shopping, hindi natin alam kung saan nang galing or sino may gawa. At your own risk, you can do it. Pero so far, wala namang naging harm sa skin ko nung ginamit ko yung fake na embryolis. In fact, nagustuhan ko pa nga eh. I think it works well. It moisturized my skin. It primed my face. Ang ganda ng kapit ng makeup. Wala naman sigurong masama. Although kung yun nga, kung di naman FDA approved or kung di naman siya tested, might as well wag na lang. Also, purchase some moisturizers from The Ordinary. Yung iba, repurchase na lang. Kasi etong organic cold press rose hip oil gamit gamit ko talaga siya every night and also the hyaluronic acid B5 I really really love this moisturizer because it makes my skin so plump hydrated siya really really absorbs the water para bang lahat na lang ng moisture ina absorb niya so kailangan mo pa ng extra layer of moisture on top of it. The 100% organic cold pressed Moroccan oil. I've tried a few Moroccan argan oils in the past but I've never tried um, the ordinary Moroccan oil yet. So, gamitin natin siya sa hair kasi gusto ko siyang gamitin sa hair. I bought that for the purpose of uh, using it on my dry hair kasi I've had so many colors and treatments na and nasira na talaga siya kaya nagpagupit na ako ng ganito ka short. And also, I purchased um, glitter glue from Too Faced. It's a glitter shadow primer. Kakapit pa dito yung mga glitter shadows ko kasi ang dami kong glitter shadows na parang medyo wale kapag pinahid mo na. Bumili rin ako ng jojoba oil. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jojoba oil from Sephora dahil naka-sale siya. It's just $5 or even less. I've never used to hold oil on my skin before and I'm not sure if it's going to you know break me out because I've had a few issues of breaking out in the past so I didn't want to you know try another one again just for the sake of experimenting but we can do that since mention na pansin ko na naglilo na rin naman ang aming breakouts so this one is from Fenty Beauty I haven't tried their lipsticks this is the first lipstick that I'm going to try and I saw this on a vlogger and it looks so nice on her. Ang ganda ganda. And of course, ito, this is actually a lipstick that I used to love in the past. Matagal na akong di nagma-MAC lipstick at bumili na lang ulit ako ng MAC lipstick nung gumawa ako ng Maine Mendoza na review. Bibihira na akong mag-use ng mga pink toned na lipsticks. Medyo napagsawaan ko na because right now I'm into nudes, browns, or mga bold colors, gano'n at saka red kasi bihira na lang din naman na akong makagamit ng mga lips na ganda na rin naman na ako masyadong lumalabas. Let's um, renew that passion and that love that I once had for this lipstick. And Laura Mercier the powder. This Laura Mercier translucent loose setting powder is a holy grail. I know a lot of people who swear by this powder. I really love Wowder from Glossier. I like Marc Jacobs, and I also like RCMA, especially when I'm using it on my clients. Napakawalang hulas na powder. And now to our last product. This is the Jackie Eye na palette. Hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi ko makontain na nga kay Saya. Kasi I'm an eyeshadow girl. I really, really love eyeshadows. This is what the palette looks like. I love it. Ganda. It was on sale when I got it, guys. And look at it. It's so nice. Kagamitin ko yung mga products na pinakita ko sa inyo. Well, a few, not all. I'm going to do my foundation off camera. I'm going to use the Sephora Jojoba Oil. I'm just gonna add a few drops. Mmm, it smells so good. Mmm, okay. Ang fairness ang light niya. Nagpatak ko dalawa. Parang wala akong pinahid. Okay siya. Hmm, ganda. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something bad features. Your 
find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her You see her walking down the boulevard She got the posture of a superstar She looks so fly in those Gucci slides Yeah, yeah, I wonder where she hides Under her disguise Yeah, 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 yeah And all the girls around the world They wanna be there And all the dudes are trying to score Like it's fever She lives a double life What's on the show? What's under the subtle smile? We'll never know She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me paint a picture I see they don't understand Feeling like Picasso She brushing against my hands Seeing you from around the way You didn't give me the time of day You be making moves that you Who really care what Simon say All the bad things, girl, I had to look past that Call yourself a dime, I'm just trying to get my cash back You be looking fine, so no wonder they can match that Louis V scarf for I'm chilling with a dad hat Whoa, slow it down like that Just hold me down like that eyelashes and some eyeliner. Tinapos ko na rin yung mukha ko. Nilagyan ko na ng blush. Nilagyan ko na ng highlighter. Susubukan na natin yung lipstick. But before that, let me just give you my verdict on um, Jackie Aina Anastasia palette. Wala akong masabi. Talagang maganda talaga siya. Maganda yung colors. I really, really like how they look on my eyes. Especially sponsored because it's one of the shades that I've been looking forward to trying because of the green shift mukha siyang blue pero para siyang green na maipaliwanag maganda talaga siya um, I like the colors they're a little bit bold kailangan talaga malakas ang loob mong magsuot ng ganitong mga colors and they're very very pigmented so I really really like it the only problem that I might have encountered is when I used the glitter glue palette I think this is not for powdery eyeshadows 
or it could be. Kaya lang kung magbe-blend ka, huwag mo muna siyang gamitin. I think gamitin mo na lang ito. This would be perfect for those glitter eyeshadows, yung mga nilalagay niyo sa gitna ng mata. Kanina, I had to put on translucent powder, setting powder para at least dumulas ng konti kasi nakita niyo kung gaano siya kakapit. Like talagang kahit yung fingers ko napupol niyo yung eyelid ko eh. Dahil sa sobrang dikit na itong eyeshadow na to. So, meaning, pag glitters talaga ginamit mo, which I haven't really tried yet, pag glitters ang ginamit mo dito, talagang secured ang glitters. Hindi talaga siya kakalat. So, next time, I'll try this one. I'll give it another shot. Now, let's move on to the lipstick. This is the packaging. It's so nice. It's so luxurious. Sadly, ang liit niya. Oh, it's 1.7 grams. Well, okay lang yan kasi ang mga makeup sa bigs naman din mag-expire. Ah! Fears na fears! Kaya lang parang di siya bagay dito sa eye look ko ngayon. So, papalitan ko siya. Kagamitin natin yung MAC lipstick ko. Okay, so there you have it guys. Here's the final look. Nasasabi ko na happy ako sa mga purchases ko. So that's it guys. I hope you liked it. And uh, overall, I really like the products that I reviewed today or that I tried today. Uh, looking forward to more videos like this in the future. And I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, please follow me on Instagram. It's Provinciana. And on Twitter, CJHalfTai. So see you guys again soon. Bye. I love you all.